Okay, hello everyone. In this um, poetry lesson, we're going to be looking at a poem called Owl by Phoebe Hesker. So, what I want you to do is identify the three parts of a metaphor in this example. My heart is like a singing bird. So what's the tenor, what's the vehicle, and what's the ground? So just pause that, have a think about that. Okay, here's the answer. So the tenor is the, the heart, my heart, the vehicle. So the, the heart is being compared to a singing bird. And the ground, the ground could be that the person's heart feels joyous and wonderful. As a bird, it could feel free and able to fly. It's possible that the person is in love. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to analyze the poem Owl. We're going to read it and then evaluate how the poet conveys, puts across meaning within this lesson. So this is Owl by Phoebe Hesketh. Now, Phoebe Hesketh, who studied Phoebe Hesketh before, lived from 1909 to 2005. So let's read this poem. There's a couple of questions in the red box for you to think about. The owl's a clock face without fingers, two keyholes for seeing, striking silent as frost, soft, unexpected as snow, its flight a wash through trees without flicker of leaf, a pocket of air, bulging with warm, swallowed blood. Out there, the wood grown stiller than winter, with spring breathing bluebells and fern under cover, each feather pinned, fur and whisker, twitching in the windless night, and time flying white from the clock tower, screeching the hour of death. So think about what type of bird is being described. And then the second question is, the poet says the owl is silent and unexpected. How does that make us feel about the owl? So some ideas there. An owl is being described. Um, how does that make us feel about the owl? Well, the owl could appear at any moment without warning. So it suggests that the owl is very unpredictable. So what I want you to do is have a go at these thinking questions. So if you think about the quotations that are in this poem, the striking silence as frost and unexpected as snow. So write down, what do you think is the tenor? What's the vehicle? And what's the ground? So the thing that the tenor and the vehicle have in common. So just have a go at thinking about that now. Uh, and just pause the video while you have a think about that. Okay, so there's the example. Um, so we've got the owl as the tenor in both examples. It's described as silent as frost and unexpected as snow. And the ground is silent as frost. Both can be powerful and threatening. Um, and unexpected as snow, both appear noiselessly and majestically. So what I want you to do is to evaluate this poem. And I want you to write two paragraphs to answer the question. How does the poet make the owl seem dangerous? So you're going to write the topic sentence, introduce and provide the quotation, and explain what the quotation shows us about the owl. So make sure you check your work. There's no run on sentences, that each proper noun begins with a capital letter, and that you use pronouns correctly and clearly.